Hello everyone, I'm Naima Nassim, and my own legal focus is on government arrangements for medical devices in Sub-Saharan Africa, but with a specific focus in Kenya. So medical devices and equipment are often uh, thought as critical towards improving newborn care, the quality of newborn care, and also reducing newborn mortality. However, many of these medical devices come with several challenges, and those may be challenges related to their availability and access, the quality of the medical device and appropriateness, and also issues to do with safety, including significant harm to the users and to the wider health system. And key to addressing some of these challenges are governance arrangements. What are these governance arrangements? Governance itself is quite a broad concept, but generally it refers to rules, processes, and structures that may be informal or formal, that are interpreted and applied across the health system and tend to guide the roles and relationships of multiple actors. So that includes policymakers, healthcare providers, and people. Governance enables different functions across the health system, and specifically for medical devices, that includes regulation, oversight, accountability, and management. So governance influences how medical devices will be selected, introduced, and adopted within health systems. But as I said, many of the medical device challenges are often linked to inadequate policies and processes for governance. I did a scope review in the first year of my detail, and it showed that many of the frameworks that are for governance for medical devices are still largely focused on either international or national agreements for market approval, so regulatory approval to bring in devices into the market. And it's still quite unclear how governance and oversight are forced in a complex health system, including how devices enter into health facilities and what oversight occurs while they're in use. And that requires an in-depth examination, particularly in, the, in one setting, and that's what I'm trying to do. So my default will examine governance arrangements for medical devices that are introduced for newborn care in Kenyan hospitals, starting with that international or national level, but also looking at what happens at the counties and what happens when medical devices are introduced within hospitals. And then to see how these different levels interact to shape the introduction and oversight of medical devices. Um, my methodology is largely qualitative, which would include case studies of four national hospitals, um, county hospitals rather, and then interviews with key stakeholders across these levels, uh, a policy analysis and document review, and then participatory workshops with stakeholders. And the aim largely will be to come up with some key considerations to see how we can strengthen the relevance and the application of governance policies and processes, which then will hopefully contribute to improving quality of human care. 